Good morning, I'm super late filming this. Uh, this is Thursday the 23rd of August. Um, basically this is uh, some of the clothing that I picked up over the weekend. I did mean to film this on Sunday, uh, but we went to two car boots on Sunday and we left the house at half past seven. By the time we got home it was half past three and I was absolutely cream crackered. So I didn't do um, a haul, which is what I was expecting to do. Um, so I've already sorted these clothes into um, tops, jumpers, skirts, etc. And done all the sizing. So that's why they're going to be all in uh, little, little bundles like that. Now none of these clothes are what I would say were amazing brands or um, obviously stuff that you should look out for. You have to decide what you want to sell in your clothing store and stick to that uh, genre. Okay, so to start with... Um, here's I think mostly dresses in this one so this I went for because of the print I thought it was really really pretty in fact that's the back um, and this is only a George but it only cost me a pound and I thought there's a profit in that for me I'm quite happy with that you know if I sell that for ten pound and it's a big size it's a well not a big size that's the wrong word it's a good size size 16 so that's great um, also I've got an apricot um, sort of jumper dress here which is very pretty again that was a pound again that's a large um, and then this one which is like a wrap jersey dress is therapy and again that's a large and again it was a it was a pound um, and this one is uh, a denim dress it's Debenhams it's uh, size 16 it's like a button down you're probably not seeing all this in the camera but it's a button down dress um, which was again a pound most of these were a pound some of them were 50p she had some on the floor which were 50p actually this is a 50p pair this is M&S linen shorts they're brand new with the tags they're size 14 they're like the long shorts and they were 50p um, and these again same lady Marks and Spencers they're like little cropped trousers, very pretty design. These ones are size 18. And, oh, I did pay a little bit more. This was off another seller. I paid £2 for this skirt, I know, shock horror. But it is fat face, and it's, um, I think it's either 16 or an 18. Uh, bloody, bloody blue, 16. Um, and fat face skirts in the bigger sizes for me sell really well. I always struggle with the smaller sizes, but if it's 14, 16, that sort of size, then they seem to sell really well. Uh, so that was £2. Um, I'll probably list that for around 15-ish. Um, so that was, as I said, was mostly, mostly dresses. So let's pop them back in that bag. And then this bag here, I think this is tops, is it? Yeah, tops. Again, Marks and Spencers in a big size. I think this is a 16 again. Or a bigger size, I should say. Don't want to offend somebody. Uh, oh, yeah, size 16. So that's in, in a good size. Um, a lot of these are just what I call basic, but they're, most of them are 50p. Next, size 16, 50p. Um, this one is per una. I think that's a plus size one actually. Uh, it's quite big. 18. 18, so not quite. But that's quite a pretty one. 50p. A lot of these were 50p. Uh, this is one of these nightmarish two piece sets with the camisole underneath. But again, it's Smarts and Spencers. And it's a 16. And we've got uh, Forever One. Don't know who that is, but I just thought that was quite attractive for 50p. And let me have show you the couple of really nice um, Bowden ones. Again, the lady that had the fat face skirt, she had this Bowden shirt, which was uh, size 18. And I just thought, again, two quid. You're going to sell that all day long, really, aren't you, for about 15. So that's why I bought that. And then of another stall, uh, this one was only a pound. And again, it's Bowden. Um, and it's uh, size 14. I've really stopped buying stuff in the very, what I call the small sizes. So 8s, 10s, 12s. 
Um, occasionally I'll pick up 12s if it's like really cheap or at jumble sale. I did pick up some size 10s the other day at a jumble sale because they were 25p and at 25p I'm never going to leave anything behind. But generally speaking, if I'm, I'm out and about at car boots, I'm generally speaking looking for a 14 or bigger. Um, so some of these are probably all fairly similar. See that's another Marks and Spencers. Um, I think that's something run of the mill and I think this one is next. So again all next Marks and Spencers, yeah size 16 next. Um, all were 50p though so I wasn't going to leave anything behind and they said they're all good sizes so let's pop those back in there. Okay. Then we go into um, jackets. Um, again, I just like the look of this one. It's like one of these eyelash sort of jackets, open little, probably like a little evening jacket. And it's H&M and it's a large. And again, it was 50p. Uh, this is a Laura Ashley size 16 little denim waistcoat. Or gilet, I don't know what people call them nowadays. Um, and that was a pound. And of the same lady, uh, Marks and Spencer's size 14, and like a little open jacket again, and that was a pound. And oh, this is Lazy Jacks, uh, which is a sweatshirt, and it's a big size, it's XXL. Um, and the last time I had one of these, I sold it for about 15 pounds. This cost me a pound, so that was fine. Um, I paid £1.50 for this, I know, shock horror, um, but it's large, extra large, it doesn't have a label on it, as in a label to say who made it, but I would think it's somebody like Debenhams, but with the sort of Christmas party season coming up, I always look out for these like little Bolero jackets, because they always sell quite well, and in fact, I bought one the other week, a little purple one, which I think I showed you, and that sold within a couple of days for £15. So, again, for £1.50 to £15, you can do that all day long, aren't you? Um, then we've got a, like a denim jacket, but it's like, um, it's like a chambray, in, and it's next, size 16, like a sort of biker style, and that was a pound. Um, another £1.50 item, but this is my favourite buy of the car boot. And this is one of these really long, sort of goth, Victorian style, look at this, it's massive, um, coat, wool coat, it's beautiful, really beautiful, um, sort of thing I'd like to wear if I was a little bit smaller, um, but yeah, it's, cool. it's got the button fastening there, I don't know how well that's coming out, but it's a beautiful, beautiful coat, um, and it's medium, which probably means it's about 14. So, um, yeah, very nice thing. And that was £1.50. Um, so, very pleased with that. So, that was all the coats and jackets. Put them all back in there and sweatshirt type things. We try to photograph stuff, you know, in like little groups because then it makes it easier for listing because you could just do that sell similar, sell similar, sell similar. So, that's basically what we're aiming for. So, that's those. And then last but not least, oh, and this is not all of it by the way, we also got some on Saturday um, and um, we've already processed that so I haven't dug that out again because it's just too much of a faff. But I think we worked it out, we bought about 60 items of clothing over the whole weekend so that was pretty good. Um, so I got another one of these uh, Peruna um, what are called chunky knit cardigans with the big buttons. Um, Again, 50p or a pound. Majority of stuff I didn't pay more than, as I said, either 50p or a pound. The, the couple of items I paid more for, I'll sort of tell you about. So that was one of those. Um, I think this one's next again. No, Peruna. Another sort of standard cardigan. Again, in a large jumper rather, not cardigan. Uh, this one's lovely. It's got she got mohair in it and. Um, I think it's a bit of wool as well, size 16 next with the sparkly, that was really nice. So again that was either a pound or 50p, I think it was a pound. Um, this is a 50p one, per una, size 16, just like a jumper top. 
Uh, oh, I thought this was pretty. This is uh, apricot, medium large. It's like a sort of bat wing cardigan, like open cardigan shawl thing. I thought that was pretty. Again, 50p a pound. I can't remember. One or the other. Um, do you find though, well, sometimes when you get home, you almost forget what you've bought and how much you've paid for it and all that sort of stuff. It all sort of mulges into one big mess in your head. Uh, Peruna size 16, again, another sort of open knit jumper. Um, this one is Peruna. Yeah, Peruna. Again, another nice sort of patterned cardigan. Uh, this one is uh, uh, it's only M and Co, but it was again it was a 50p buy, and I just thought it's quite attractive, so I bought that for 50p. Um, oh, this is quite nice. This is a, like a Lagan look, um, and again it's mohair um, in the mix, and it's got like a little snood. Um, I didn't know people still wore snoods, but it comes with a snood, so. I will sell it with a snood. And oh, and this was the most expensive thing I bought all weekend, clothing wise, because it's crude clothing. It's size 16 and it's in a good colour. And it was £3, which again is neither here nor there, really. Uh, crude clothing uh, sweatshirts for me always sell really well. So I was quite happy to pay £3 for that. And that's it. As I said, I won't show you all of 60 items because it'll be you know, dead boring, and it's all just basically more of the same. I'm more of a bread and butter seller. If I can make around ten times what I pay for something, give or take, um, sometimes five times, I'm quite happy. Um, and I just buy whatever there is, especially as it's coming up. You kind of feel now that autumn's, you know, at the door. So I'm basically just trying to buy as much stock as possible to keep me going through the autumn and winter. So. I'm just grabbing loads of uh, stuff at the moment and uh, stocking up. But there we go. I hope you had a good weekend and I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everybody.